Hey guys, Michael here and you're welcome to another Leaf CLI tutorial. In the previous one, we looked at setting up the Leaf CLI and generating a basic project with Leaf. In this one, we are going to talk about the create command. We saw that bit in the other video, but this time we are going to look at how it works and how we can change things up a bit. So let's get into it. I'm just going to switch over to my terminal here. Right. So if you follow through the previous video, you should be able to do this and have the leaf CLI pop up. So in the last one, we did something like leaf create app name. So the create command is always expecting you to give your application name. And that name can be anything at all. We can have something like blog, like Facebook, anything at all. So when you run this, it will ask you for the presets. So the presets are just basically kind of like a quick app scaffold. So we have basic leaf, that's just leaf, and the single index.php file. We have leaf MVC, leaf API, those are um, frameworks, well structured frameworks with leaf, and then skeleton as a boilerplate. So we can just go with maybe leaf MVC, and then it asks for your version. So the version of leaf you want to use, version two or version three. So now the problem with this is with every project you generate is going to walk you through all of this, even when you know maybe you want to use Leaf MVC with version 3 or so on. And it can get a little annoying. So the create command gives you a simpler way to do all of this. If you know exactly what you want to use, for instance, maybe I want to create a Leaf MVC application, I can just pass in an option like this dash dash mvc so this will just tell the create command that i want to generate the app facebook with the leaf mvc preset so if i run this you notice it won't ask me which preset i want to use in a similar way i can also pass in an option for the version i want to use so dash dash v2 for version 2 or dash dash v3 for version 3 and that's that's how simple it is. So if I generate this now, it will install leaf MVC, run simple commands, install the dependencies, and then now I can cd into Facebook and then run leaf serve. So this would start up a development server and I can just open that up in here. And I get this welcome page for Leaf and VC. So that's how simple it is. Using the same steps, you can generate a Leaf API project, a skeleton project, or a base Leaf project. And it works just like that. In the next couple of videos, we'll be looking at the other commands. Hope to catch you in the next one.